This week's video, it's about what do I do now? I hope you enjoy it. Hello, Trevor Cutmore here. Um, I'm working on many things during this time in the lockdown for two weeks. I know it's very, very difficult. It's a very concerning time for loved ones as well. We have uh, family and friends in the NHS and we just wish them all the best. And likewise, I know many of you are uh, in the same position. Uh, very worrying times. However, look, um, the Queen's speech yesterday um, came out and was very much encouraging, saying that we're going to come through, we'll be stronger for it, and very much, you know, what is this time for? And the title of this uh, talk is, What Do I Do Now? And very much that challenges me, that should be challenging you in what do we do in property right now? So look, it's wrong to be um, racketeering, trying to, um, you know, get people in difficult circumstances and buying a crazy sort of 40, 50% discount. That's wrong. Please don't do that. Um, but there are some things that we can be doing and that's positioning. Uh, that's about building reputation. So myself and my business partner, Leslie Tao, every Wednesday night, eight o'clock on Facebook live on Cashflow Freedom Facebook group. Come and join there. We do a live webinar where we give uh, answer your questions, we discuss what's going on and give some great content to help. So it's about giving and helping people. Uh, Leslie and I are putting some training together to offer some uh, paid training for people, but only for those people who can afford to pay for that and it's right for them to do it at this time. We certainly do, will not and, will, and do not put people into debt for training and we don't use any clever sales techniques. But um, look, what do I do now is very much the question. And like I said, positioning, positioning, positioning right now. This is about you and I building reputation. And if you've got tenants right now, the first thing is communication. You should be communicating with those tenants and seeing what are their problems. Have they managed to get the furlough, uh, furlough payments through, through the government and then back into the wage packet. And is that something you can be helping them with? Remember, look, many of my tenants are from Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe and they may not understand what's going on. So, you know, we have the wonderful thing of Google Translate to contact them and just say, look, how is it going? Um, I've sent some texts, I have mine managed by a company, so they are communicating and we're getting good feedback and giving, you know, messages that people can understand. You know, don't, you know, hopefully there are some people who will sit back and think, oh, there's nothing I can do, nothing I can do. I just have to sit and wait. No, be proactive. Um, let's talk about repairs and compliance. So many of you might think, well, if I'm not getting any rent, I'm not fixing the property if it goes wrong. I'm sorry, but legislation is very, very clear. You have the responsibility to upkeep that property to make it safe and a comfortable living space for your tenants, regardless if they pay you rent or not. Now, you have to prioritize, so something which is essential must be done straight away. But look, let's suppose in there's some paint flaking off in the hallway. Okay, it's non-essential, so you wouldn't get something like that done. But anything which is essential, you cannot say, um, well, you haven't paid me rent or I'll get it fixed when you pay the rent. You cannot say that under UK legislation, whether you receive rent or not, regardless, you have to get it done, fixed. There's no argument about that. Second thing is, look, helping others is something that we can do all the time. Like I say, Leslie and I are helping people. Leslie's doing a, a webinar this week to help people who are stuck in the SA market where they've got empty rooms. Um, she is going to offer some further training. I'm actually working through, I've done a load of filming to deliver high quality um, training on lease options and buy refurb refinance. Now lease options are gonna come into their own, bar none, in this time. Remember the key thing is to help people, not 
to take advantage. Please don't do it. There's plenty. We can make money and help people. We do not need to take advantage when people are down. So this is a strong message I'm trying to bring through. To help others is a fantastic place to be. Let's be part of the community, not part of that racketeering, those horrible people that are charging stupid money for essentials such as toilet roll or hand wash. Let's be part of that solution. But this is a time to build your reputation. Remember, no like and trust. They will that those three things don't change. So two things happen. They either know you, like you, and trust you, or they know you, they don't trust you, and they dislike you. So they're still going to take place. No like and trust. They're gonna make an opinion. And if you're either distance or you're doing it the wrong way, you're going to damage reputation. And after this crisis, when things go back to normal, as the Queen has said, we will come through it, we will be stronger for it, we will look back at the lessons that we've learnt and we'll be a stronger community. Um, Look, that's a powerful thing that she's saying. And when those days come, the people who are trying to take advantage will be highlighted in the community. I think many of them will have to move away from the community because no one wants to buy or deal with those type of people. So, look, take it from me. I I hope you're enjoying these, these broadcasts. Please, you know, put a comment if you want me to discuss certain things. You know, what's going on with the, the UK property market? I'm reading everything at the minute. I'm talking to people. I've seen some people saying that it's dropping from 1.8% in value to 15 and 20% in value, property prices. Where is it? Uh, if you want my honest opinion, I think we will see a drop in UK prices, whether it's the South, Midlands or wherever, in average around about a 15% drop, I think. I don't think we'll recover that for about 18 months after this crisis, but I think we will have quite a fast uh, acceleration because we're already half a million sold properties down just in this short space of time. Already sales have dropped by half a million. Um, I feel sorry for the people who are in the middle of a buy refurb refinance and also those who have just bought or let's say more, more uh, sorry for people who are exchange contracts. And that one is where a property is now suddenly no no diving in value. I just hope and uh, pray that the lenders will not cancel their offer because legally you're hugely exposed. Take advice, try to push things through as fast as you can if you're exposed like that. And this, I want to wish you all the best in your journey. If I can help you, please drop me an email, make a comment and tell me what you want me to uh, help you with. I wish you all the best. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye bye.